of Heller News. I'm Ashley Fulkerson. And I'm Hank Dotsy. Recently, the Aces got to participate in the Rainbow Mass. Where all the schools in the diocese get together to have Mass with the Bishop. I guess you could say it really illuminates our unity as Catholic students. In other Aces news, Picture Day is coming up soon, so be sure to wear your biggest smiles and your best clothes and pants if you're a girl. That's right. Recently, our own Coach Hines announced that he'd be leaving and going to Henderson. Here's Mary Scales with the scoop. We're here with Coach Hines today to ask him about his experience at Catholic High and his future at Henderson. So, what subjects will you be teaching at Henderson? Uh, at Henderson, I will be in uh, Phys Ed and Health in the second semester, and I'll probably um, sub a little bit uh, during the first semester up until Christmas. What will you miss most about Catholic High? Uh, definitely the people. Uh, the faculty and staff here are great. Uh, the best people I've been around. The students are awesome to be around. Uh, great people. Um, you know, really have uh, been, I guess, uh, brought the school spirit back into, I guess, my life and uh, taught me a lot about uh, the high school athlete. And what is your best memory here? Uh, best memory would be, I don't know the year, uh, but probably three years ago when I got to play handball during lunch uh, with the senior group uh, in the pouring down rain. That was a good time. All right, thank you. We wish you the best of luck and we'll sure miss you here, Coach Hans. Recently, Ace's sports have been particularly successful. From cross country, to volleyball, to golf, to boys and girls soccer, and football. Here's Jacob Fogel with what you need to know. What's up, y'all? This is Jacob Fogel here with Ace's Sports. This past week, the uh, boys golf team went to regionals and Hayden Ronnie took the overall, sending his boys to state. Then, girls golf, Abby Greenwell and her team got runner-up, sending their team also to state. On the other hand, boys football went 43-14 to and Nolan Lowe grabbing that 100-yard pick six to smack McLean County. And then the boys will be playing Hancock County tonight. Let's go, boys, get that dub! Volleyball will also be competing uh, this last weekend and went four and two. Here's Nolan Clark with the interview with Isabel Wright. Uh, this is volleyball player Isabel Wright, and I'm here to ask her a few questions. So, have you guys had a winning season so far? Yes. Um, what's your next game? A tournament this weekend in Henderson. And what would you say your biggest competition in district is? Definitely Apollo. Apollo, okay, and your keys to state? We need to have a lot of energy and play well together as a team and have good coaching. All right, you heard it here first. Thank you. Man, there's some real chemistry between those two. So Hank, how's your fall break gonna be? I think it's gonna be pretty horrible. I hate fall break. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> anyway, we wanna get to know our student body and faculty, so. Mary Scales sits down with Miss Gates. And Sean Whitehouse sits down with Forrest Steele for some rapid fire questions. questions. We're here with Ms. Gates today to ask her rapid fire questions. So Ms. Gates, what is your dream job? A teacher at Owensboro Catholic High School. Do you prefer cats or dogs? Dogs. What is your favorite sport? To watch football. Are you a morning or night person? Night. What is the first thing you do in the morning? Drink coffee. And do you prefer fall or summer? Summer. All right, you heard it first, thank you. I'm here with Forrest Steele while he answers some rapid fire questions. All right, Forrest. Subway or Jimmy John's? Jimmy John's, freaky fast. Are you single? I am single. UK or Louisville? Utah, baby, go Utes. Favorite movie line? I love you, Janae. Favorite superhero? Spider-Man, definitely. Favorite 90s jam? Pearl Jam. Mm, nice. If there was a movie about you, who would play you? Clint Eastwood in his younger days. All right, thanks, Forrest. Take it away, David. <clears throat> Whatever, Sean. Well, I'm kind of more of a Jimmy John's person. Really? I'm more of a Subway man. The cookies are bomb. Speaking of cookies, today's National Oreo Day. We wanted to find out what, how you guys eat your Oreos. Let's take a look. Let's get it. Uh, I usually just eat it whole because there's kids in Africa who would kill their siblings for an Oreo. How do you eat your Oreo? Like this. Nice. How do you eat your Oreo? Like this. Well, you see.
icing, pop it off, lick the icing, and throw away the cracker. From dunking to rubbing it on your face, you guys sure are some smart cookies. We hope you guys have a happy fall break. Catch you next time. <laughs>